Welcome to FYI. I'm Dr. Beth Rep, a comprehensive ophthalmologist and cataract surgeon at Eye Surgeons Associates. I'd like to discuss monovision with you today. Monovision is a way to correct the vision in presbyopic patients to eliminate their need for glasses. So first of all, what is presbyopia? Presbyopia describes the natural change that occurs in the lens of the eye over time. When we are children, the lens inside our eye is very flexible. We're able to focus in the distance and then at a near object very rapidly. The lens very gradually loses this flexibility. With that loss of flexibility comes more difficulty focusing on near objects over time. Generally in our early 40s, this becomes symptomatic. People first start to notice that they need to hold reading materials farther away than they used to. Typically, low power reading glasses or bifocals are needed in the early to mid 40s. Over time, the lens continues to lose the flexibility and every few years, the strength of the reading glasses or bifocals needs to be increased. For patients who are presbyopic or require magnification for reading, but don't want to wear glasses, a corrective option for them is monovision. Monovision describes correcting one eye to see clearly in the distance, in other words, giving them good driving vision in that eye, and correcting the other eye to see clearly at near, in other words, giving them a good reading eye. The eye that is set for distance should be the dominant eye, the eye that one prefers to use when looking through a keyhole or through a scope. Monovision can be achieved three different ways. The first way is with contact lenses. A contact lens can be placed on the dominant eye for clear distance vision, and a different powered contact lens can be placed on the non-dominant eye to correct for near vision. Alternatively, if one does not require correction for the distance usually, a contact lens can be placed on the reading eye only. Or if one has a mild degree of nearsightedness and is able to see clearly to read without glasses, a contact lens can be placed on the one eye just to correct for distance. The second way to achieve monovision is with refractive surgery, most commonly LASIK or PRK. LASIK and PRK are laser surgeries which change the thickness or shape of the cornea, the front surface of the eye, in order to correct the vision. With monovision correction, the dominant eye is corrected for clear distance vision, and the non-dominant eye is corrected for clear near vision. Refractive surgery with monovision is a great option for people in their 40s and 50s who have not yet developed a cataract. The third way to achieve monovision is with cataract surgery. Cataract surgery is indicated when the lens inside the eye becomes cloudy over time, causing blurred vision and glare. Cataract surgery involves removing the natural lens from inside the eye, which is called a cataract when it becomes cloudy, and replacing it with an artificial lens, usually made out of acrylic. The artificial lenses come in many different powers to correct the vision. If monovision is desired, measurements will be done to determine the necessary lens power to achieve distance vision in one eye and near vision in the other eye. Cataract surgery with monovision is a great option for people who have blurred vision secondary to cataracts and who desire not to wear glasses after their cataract surgery. Monovision is very well tolerated by many patients. The brain adjusts and they feel they see clearly for both distance and near without the help of glasses. Others have some difficulty with the imbalance between the eyes and feel they do not see clearly when not using both eyes to drive or both eyes to read. It's a good idea to have tried monovision with contact lenses first prior to committing to monovision through refractive or cataract surgery. However, if a patient decides over time, after having had surgical correction for monovision, that he or she would prefer using both eyes for all tasks, glasses can be prescribed to balance the vision for both distance and near tasks, and it's even possible that LASIK can be done again on the near eye to change both eyes to see distance clearly. Thanks for watching. Please visit Eye Surgeons Associates YouTube channel for additional FYI videos on other care topics.